Things all over the place, look at that. Brutal, honest observations. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Way up there. Today's the first full day with the Tacoma and we already got work to do. We're gonna put this little six foot, one inch bed to the test, load it up with an ATV, see how it fits, strap it down and head out on the road. This is my first time here popping the hood. Looks like we got a latch here. No shock assist and the hood's pretty heavy. Put the hood up right here. My 16 year old Tundra had gas shocks to lift up the hood. The engine was purring pretty nicely. We got some kind of flimsy plastic cover over the engine here, but so long we're getting that Toyota reliability and off-road capability, I don't care. Upon closer inspection, everything's clean and nice. However, there's a lot of thin metal and plastic on this here truck. All these shrouds are pretty flimsy plastic. That mount right there is plastic. This is plastic. This metal is pretty thin. I think a simple fender bender can cause quite a bit of damage. I sure do love how the truck looks though. These are all my initial impressions. I'm not an automotive expert. What I do is mine for gold, look for gold, live in the woods, spend half of my time driving on dirt roads way back in the back country. And this here looks to be the best truck for that. It's narrow width and shorter wheelbase makes it perfectly suited for those applications. Tacoma badge, might do a plasti dip on that. But I'm really surprised how flimsy all this stuff is. Look at this. I mean, that's just a trim piece, but that's flimsy. Shoot, this bumper. I mean, first first time I hit some rocks or some trees, <laughs> this thing's coming off. Same with the grill here. But look at that. It's just moving by touching it. I guess it'll absorb some impact. The kind of reliability I require out of my trucks and the kind of abuse I put them through, it's got me a little bit concerned. So the tailgate's not power. We gotta use a key to open that. Okay, I got tailgate unlocked. This handle's fairly flimsy plastic also. Hopefully this truck can survive. Soft drop tailgate. Now that is nice. Now the inside, this is a bit more sturdy. Now I know this is a composite bed. Hopefully it'll hold up to the vigors of my abuse. You can see I already got a shovel back here. Brand new truck, but this is how I use it. Big old pry bar. That's a little scary. Wonder if this will crack. Gas cam picks. We're gonna load the ATV back here. Okay, let's continue my inspection. It looks like from the factory, they are including a clear bra type plastic here where rocks will get kicked up. We have a tiny bit of bubbling here, but that's not too big of a deal. And under this, it looks like we have some thicker paint. It's like an orange peel type texture to bounce rocks off. Hopefully you can see that orange peel better here. And as you notice, we don't have mud flaps or mud guards, so rocks are gonna get tossed up from here all along back this way. This is how sturdy the sides are. Branches and trees will put a dent in that right quick. Well, this is a light truck. It's been treating people well for years, so hopefully it'll treat me well as well. Check that out. One finger, look at that. Whole thing's moving. <laughs> now I guess this is good if you're in an accident, but that's pretty flimsy. Can't put a whole lot of weight on there. We got a light here. Now look at that. This trim piece is just flopping off. Hopefully this truck will survive. Today's real quick impressions. Put this down. Another plastic clip. Let's drop the hood lightly. Closed up pretty well. Everything lines up well. Those doors are a little funny. Good looking truck. It's definitely not a heavy duty monster. So I've watched a crazy amount of videos about this truck and others, and I haven't seen anybody talk about any of these things. 
I bought this truck so I'm in it for the long haul here um, and I got some things to figure out. I am going to be getting a topper, build it out as a camper and work mobile, but I'm looking here at the head of the truck bed, at least we have a chunk of metal. We got a square tube, it's like inch and a half or two inch by one inch roughly square tube um, that gives a little bit more rigidity to the bed here. However, take a look at this. Right here we have a quarter inch gap quarter inches wide by inch and a half down to the top of the origin original bed rail and when i get a cap on here this is most definitely a leak point i'm gonna have to fill this space with some kind of foam caulk or something like that there's the rest of the top of the bed down here much less of a gap this side's a little bit wider than this side but whatever no idea how these things work yet i'll figure that out don't know if they're load load bearing or not i'm sure i'll figure it out one way or the other okay we'll take a look inside the passenger door i already got some tools in here i don't have it organized yet that's gonna be next week we got a bucket backpack tools compressor toolbox i think i'm gonna be okay with space in here so long i get creative we have a usb port and a cigarette lighter right here to charge things um, back here in the glove box, we got a USB charging some GoPro batteries. However, this auxiliary port kicks off after a while and I, I can't charge while the truck's off. So I'm going to figure out how to set up an auxiliary that I can run. We'll keep you posted on that. Okay, it's going to be interesting. My ATV is about 40, 45 inches wide. Between the wheel wells here, we have 42 and a half inches bed to bed wall. We're looking at 57 inches here. However, I'm gonna have to kinda try to grip and roll up this. Get my wheels here in the front, but I'm a little worried that if my wheels drop down in here, the ATV could lurch forward and bust out my rear windows. Also, these bed tie downs, I guess I'll have to read it. Uh, see how much weight they can handle. I can't imagine a whole lot, but the way to move it, you push this in slide it here to the back i'd imagine it's good and safe to somewhere around 80 pounds who knows maybe a little bit more i'll let you know when i figure it out i'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of this beeping uh but so back here in the access cab i'm gonna remove the seat eventually and build a platform but like i said this is day one i got my toolbox set up to where i can flip the lid take the top out grab a hammer that i need right now this is certainly gonna be interesting guys this is my first First test run. We just need something that's gonna work and the only way to find out is to put it to the test. Flip this down on the tailgate. On my old truck, I would take the tailgate off, get it sort of centered, and hopefully this will fit through so I can anchor it. It does. There we go. Do the other side. It's centered. Now here goes nothing. Put in four wheel drive. Start crawling. Center. Looks good. Okay, we're in the truck bed. Now the question is, am I gonna fit through the wheel wells or squeeze over the top? I don't know. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is about as perfect as it gets. Ugh. Okay guys, this is phenomenal. I couldn't have asked for a better situation. I have wheel spacers on these wheels off-roader for my prospecting, and it looks like the wheels just barely fit through the wheel well. I'm sure they're pushing it a little bit here, but I didn't have to go over the top. We're almost in on the tailgate. I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to figure out how to load this so I can close the back of the tailgate here. But I'm lucky, I'm just right in there. Drive into the front and make sure we don't bust out the rear window. It almost fits all the way in. With a little bit of tweaking, I'm gonna be able to close the tailgate. Get these loaded up. These fit beneath between the wheels. Let's see how far it goes in. And that clears, that's fantastic. So once we figure out how to block up the front of the ATV, we'll be able to close the tailgate. Right now, we don't quite make it. We're gonna strap her up and hit the road. 
This is just under a 600 pound rig. The truck definitely moved quite a bit. I'm used to a little bit heavier duty truck. Get up here, hop on this thing. Whole truck shaking pretty violently, look at that. I'm really gonna need, ah, that thing's bouncing all over the place. Oh man, this thing's all over the place, look at that. No doubt about it, I'm gonna need an add a leaf or a heavy leaf pack. Ah. Up. One nice thing about these movable slider rail things is I can use this to hold on to my tail end of strap. Shouldn't be going anywhere. Nothing's moving except for the truck. Tiny hill climb test. Wow, it's a piece of cake and felt effortless. Let's take a closer look at the sag. I wanna see what the leaf springs back here are doing. Right here, the leaf springs are bent the opposite direction. We're gonna need a much beefier leaf pack back here. Brand new, this is day one of owning the vehicle. Look at that. Super, I mean, this is ridiculously thin plastic. What is this crap? It's not even, doesn't look like it's screwed in up there. You know, for bigger wheels, if you guys are cutting this to make more space, who cares? This is as thin as paper. Just rip it out. Oh no, what do we got there? Some kind of animal fur. Hopefully we didn't run anything over. Must have been a dead, dead rat or rabbit or something out here. So I'm not trying to be negative. I paid a heck of a lot of good money for this here truck. I think it's still gonna fit the bill, but already I can tell it needs quite a bit of modifications. And I'm gonna have to be really, really careful with this. So I'm coming from a first gen Tundra, which isn't that much bigger than this. However, it feels much, much burlier than this. I sit like six inches higher off the ground minimum. Everything's more sturdy. It's got more power and what have you. I did buy this for its fuel economy. Right now we're on the first tank still, 141 miles on the engine keeping the RPMs below three grand to break in the motor. However, we got work to do, so I got this ATV in the back, but I'm taking it easy. So first uh, tank of gas so far, we're at 19.2 miles per gallon, which is pretty darn good. My old Tundra doing the same stuff, I'd get like 13 miles per gallon. The other main advantage I'm seeing uh, for this here Tacoma is its width. Uh, length and wheelbase. It's much smaller than I was before. I can do a majority of the things I need to do. I'll bite with a lot of beeps and maybe a little bit of effort. I can't believe how maxed out those rear leaf springs are with the 600 pound with half of the payload capacity in the back. That's, to me, that's unacceptable. So far I like the truck for what it is. However, I really did wish it was beefier. To me, this drives stock ride height capability ground clearance you're basically at a semi-capable suv with a pickup with a bed in the back it's true for my last two vehicles i had a t100 which was about this size but it was a lot a lot more sturdy then i had a tacoma or tundra first gen tundra which is probably the best mid small size truck out there guys do you guys want to Cheap cable overland build, find a 2005, 2006 double cab Tundra. Stock ground clearance is over a foot. It's like 12.1 inches, which is way more than any truck on the market today. The Tacoma says it's stock ground clearance is 9.4 inches. However, it measures closer to 9.2. We're gonna have to raise this baby up. New shocks, new struts, lift, bigger wheels bigger leaf pack <laughs> and then hopefully we'll be able to charge some real mountain roads if you need one vehicle and you actually got to do some heavy work some real towing you'd be much better off the beater half ton now i'm going to put this thing through its paces and i'm going to come back here and give you guys my honest opinions the whole way and we're going to live and learn with this tacoma together who knows, in a couple days, couple weeks, I may fall in love with this vehicle. But right now, these are my brutal, honest observations. The truck is sitting about an inch and three quarters from hitting the bump stops. 
Let's unload this thing and watch the truck get unsprung. That just moves way too easy. Truck handled quite well. We just really need to beef up that suspension. Got some holes in the bed. If we camp in here, we want to plug those, plug these gaps, figure all this out. Pretty thin. There's no insulation there. That's not a little bit of light off-road. It's about normal driving. So I'm gonna see if I can back up using just the screen. Ooh, cut it more. Two-wheel drive. Oh, I keep noticing stuff. Okay, watch this. Here, here when I close the door. The whole truck. Here we're sitting mid-obstacle. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Way up there. This Tacoma sure is starting to grow on me. Be sure to subscribe and join along on the adventure.